this is Dave from Not So Ancient Chinese Secrets, and we're going to talk about sous vide and why I love it. Um, what is sous vide? It's a French word for under pressure or vacuum cooking. And essentially, what you do, there's only four steps to it.、Um, you can do it with meat or vegetables. I actually prefer to do it with meat because I can get really good results from cheap cuts of meat. All you need to do is season your meat, bag your meat. Then you sous vide your meat underwater, and then you sear your meat after it's done, and then you eat your meat. My favorite part. So when we first tested out sous vide and tried to figure out if it's something that we actually do on a regular basis, I tried the beer cooler hack from Serious Eats. Go check that out. There's a link down below.、Um, but what we did afterwards was got. Dork Food Sous Vide Machine, the Dork Food SV, and this nerd endorses the Dork Food SV. I don't get paid; it's okay, but I mean, it's a really cool unit. Why do I like this thing so much?、Uh, well, a sous vide, you need to essentially set the temperature and keep it there, and that's all this does. It's just got a thermometer on one end. It's got a little place for you to set the temperature, and the other end to plug it in for the power. It's got a jack where you plug in your heat source, and it could be. Any heat source, and that's the beauty of this unit. It can grow with your needs. So if you've got an old crock pot, a manual crock pot, it won't work with the digital ones with the digital displays.、Um, if you've got an old manual crock pot or an old rice cooker kicking around without the LCD displays, then all you need to do is hook up your heat source, plug it in, and voila, you've got a sous vide machine ready and waiting to go. But wait, there's more. Because the Dork Food SV will just work with pretty much any heat source. If I would say was gonna cook for a big party, and I'm not gonna be able to fit all my food in here, what's a guy to do? Well, have I got an idea for you? Get one of these things. It's a titanium aquarium heating bar, and this one's 500 watts. You can get an 800 watt version if you want. And put what? What is that thing gonna do with this? This is just your heat source. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, if you need to cook a lot of meat. Well, we've done this before for parties too.、Uh, you can kind of fill up this whole chest full of food, stick this heating bar in, stick the thermometer in, and then you've got a whole bunch of meat for a party.